Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about static fields in java class so guys static fields in java class are accessed at the class level so we don't use the object of the class but we use the name of the class in order to access the static fields so as opposed to the normal fields that are accessed at the object level so guys we will understand this more clearly with the help of examples so let us move to our eclipse ide so over here let us define a class so let's say we have a class and one one of the favorite class is animal so we have class animal over here and let us say we have a non static field over here that is the name of the animal which should be of the data type string so we have string name and then guys let's say we have another static variable so as i told you static variables will be accessed using the class names that is the animal class in this case so what we will do is we will have the static keyword over here followed by the data type so the data type is going to be an int and we are going to have the counter as the name of the variable now guys this variable is going to count the number of objects that we have created for this class that is animal and then guys let's say we have a constructor over here so we have the same name as that of the class so this constructor is going to set the name so over here we are going to pass a string variable and we are going to name it as name1 so this name it is equal to name1 over here so guys whenever we are creating a new object of a class we should provide the name of the animal so that the value gets assigned to the name of the animal over here now guys let us have another method over here that is going to display the name of the animal so we have void display name and in this case it is just going to have a string that is let's keep it as name of animal is and then the name of this particular object so guys this method is going to just print the name of the animal that we are going to pass using the object that we created over here now guys the only thing that we have to do is we have to create the animal objects over here so let us say we have one of the animal objects as dog object so we have animal dog object it is equal to new animal so over here we have to pass the name of the animal so in this case with obvious reasons it is going to be dog as one of the animal and then guys let's say we have another animal over here so what we will do is we will have a cat object over here so we have cat object and let's pass cat as the string over here which is the animal name now guys after creating this dog object we have to track what is the counter so what we are going to do is we have to access this counter variable now how do we access this using the animal class name so we will provide animal class name over here followed by dot and as you can see counter is being suggested over here by eclipse that's because we have kept it as static so we will provide counter and set it to a particular value and in this case it will be one over here that's because we have created one object of animal class now next time whenever we create another object of the class what we will do is we will just increment the counter by one so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and we will do plus plus over here so what this will do is it will just add the value of a counter by one now guys we can easily access the name of the animals using the display name that we had created so what we we will do over here is we will just call the display name for all the objects so the very first object is the dog object so we will have dog object dot display name over here and then let's say we have cat object so we have cat object over here dot display name it is going to display the name of the cat object and then we want to also display the counter that is how many animals we have created till now so we will have total number of animal objects over here as the string and then we will have animal class name followed by dot and then we will have the counter which will give us the value of the counter variable so guys in this way we are going to display the name of the dog object then the cat object and then we are going to have the counter of the total number of animal objects that we have created so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as we can see we have name of animal is dog and name of animal is cat and then we have the third line over here that is total number of animal objects is 2 that's because we have been incrementing the counter variable of the animal class over here now guys let's say we have not incremented this so i'll just remove this line of code and then guys let me just save this file and try running this code now 
So as we can see, name of animal is dog, name of animal is cat, and then we have total number of animal objects as one. That's because we have not incremented the counter now after creating this cat object. So guys, as we have seen, this static variable inside the class can only be accessed using the class names and not using the object names. And the value of a static variable will be common for all the objects at any point of time. So guys, that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is anonymous class in Java programming. So stay tuned.